So good morning. Um, in questions of the well, you know, the most important thing is um, is how to use it. Uh, and you know, uh, put from Uranus was kind of haranguing me a little. I think about the definition of the word natural. It's one of those words or chemical. I don't like chemicals in my food. Well, all food is made of chemicals. Oh, I got you. In nature, we have multiple meanings for it and, uh, and a bunch of emotional content. And philosophy is one of those kinds of words. What's it really mean, you know? And uh, you know, it's always at the edge. It's the philosophy of science or math is at the edge of these, you know, domains, the parts we don't understand, trying to get the fundament. Is it, you know, what is it? And I think that it's basically trying to understand how to program the mind, how to use the web, basically. So this is an interesting question, but you can imagine that it's somewhat in, uh, interfered with by the notion that, that there is no such will. And so I would argue people have to at least be compatibilist. And how does it seem to work? Even though, of course, you figured out it's all an illusion of some sort. Um, And to me, it's definitely done in the off time. Like I was saying, when, when an action is called for, you find yourself reacting to ideas that were already set up. And if you never go and, and do any of your own pruning in your own garden of your mind, uh, then that pruning was done by you know parents and friends and siblings. And so maybe in that sense you, you really aren't free at all. That would be because you're just using your will at the last moment. Should I put one lump or two in? You've got to go upstream and figure out how you approach things and, and work on that. And then you can change even what you like, what you dislike. And say, why would you want to do that? Well, because you might have a bad habit, for example, that you might want to change. Right now, I'm struggling. My bad habits, I'm doing worse with it. It's just what I've been through lately. I just didn't feel like. You know what I mean? So, oh, well, there you go, Piero. So, you want to change a bad habit. What about your want of your want? Yeah, it keeps going back. And you have to stop being a finite being, and it goes back through time. So, yeah, you're not in control of everything. But that's why we want to know how we can influence it. And if you think of philosophy, I mean, philosophy, they come up with a lot of different dogmas, a lot of different positions, schools of thought, and what do they really kind of all share is logic. Even if they reject logic, they share a picture of what it is or how it works if they reject logic for certain certain uses. And in those cases, they still use some sort of a logic to, to argue that. And so, and what is logic? Logic is how the will can pr process information intentionally to the best effect. Empiricism is how the will can check evidence. You know, basically, uh, the brute force is repeatability. Set up a situation so you can watch it happen over and over and over and double check yourself. These are uh, basically just uh, uh, words of advice to ourselves on how to use our own mentality. Now, how come rules like that? Uh, aren't constraining, or are they constraining? Does that mean you're going to have to end up thinking a certain thing as a result? No. And that's where the willpower, the uh, degree of freedom in the will comes in, is that even with these tools of how to inform yourself and stuff, there's still something unique to how you take the, the information, how you process it as understanding of some sort, some level.